got beans like then they with my eye, Jackie Chan. I go this way, you go this way. You diss me for no dismay. You'll get the picture when this play. Don't touch me. I've been on 10 since Wednesday. It's Monday. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy New Aramar back again with another video for y'all. Today we are about to react to this new Ty Dollar Sign album title. Featuring Ty Dolla Sign. <laughs> if you've been watching the channel for like at least a year now, you would know how hype I am about Ty Dolla Sign. Anytime I see his name, I say I make the same remark. It's like, yo, I know the song's gonna be fire at least on his end, cause he can't do no wrong, he, and he can't. I mean, he been killing everybody's features for like, I want to say maybe three two at least the last two years solid since 2018 maybe 17 but i'm gonna say 18 he been strong on everybody's uh songs he's been killing with the hooks he's been delivering fire verses when it comes to ty's albums you know i ain't gonna lie i listened to like his last few albums and um so, some of them was better than others some of them was like cool like good it was like really good for the most part like a uh, beach house three i think was the last one. I thought they had a lot of songs on there that I rock with. Um, it was a few that I could do without, but it was cool for the most part. Free TC, um, his album a couple years ago, was that 2015 or something like that? That album was dope too. I think I think it was dope. It had like, I like like half of the songs on it, but it had my favorite song by him, which is Miracle. The point I'm making here is, his albums ain't always the, the best the whole way through. You know what I mean? But it'd be like, I'd be like like half of the albums or at least a, a large amount of songs, a decent amount of songs. I see we got 25 songs on here. I'm not gonna lie, 25 songs, that's a lot. <laughs> I hope a few of these are skits or something. It look like a few of these are skits. So I'm gonna knock a few off. That still leave you with like 21 songs to listen to, or at least 20. Like, that's a lot. I got high expectations for this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Let's go. Track number one is intro. You can sing, rap, write, produce, engineer, mix, and master. And you play every instrument. Track number two, status. So I think he's blending the songs, kind of like how uh, 21 Savage's joints was like flowing perfectly. That song, that, that song was I. Right. It was I. Right. Uh, nothing crazy for a big intro. I think it's just like an intro. It's just like a quick little bring the album in. Okay, usually people would try to bring it in with a big boom. His was just a build up. It seems like it ain't the boom. It's just a build up. Like. I know y'all here to listen anyway. You're going to listen to the next track, obviously, because look at the feature on it. Track number three, Temptations, featuring Kid Cudi. Okay. She's still tripping on you. I got choices on choices, still ain't over you. You know I'm picky, I'm just seeing what I like. So it's fucking feeling. That's a cool little sample here in the back. The doom, 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 that, that's fire. Nigga, that can be like I do. I keep that body on and check it that one was all right. It was all right. I, it, at this moment, it didn't really do much for me. But I will say that they don't sound bad together. They sound good together. I like the sample in the song a little. It's like a little, I don't know how to describe this type of beat. It's like a punk rock, um, indie pop. I don't know what the kaboom bat mixed. It's a certain type of beat that sounds like something like I could see like like a a rock band or like a punk rock indie pop. I, what is this? What am I? What am I trying to say? I ain't like it that much. I ain't like that type of beat. I don't like when Ty do that type of stuff. Um, that's probably why I don't listen to Kid Cudi that much. I think he's cool. He's a good artist. I like certain times where like I like when he do that um that humming. I like when he gets into a certain type of vibey spacey bag. But this ain't really like. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It just didn't hit me like that, but it's cool. Uh, track number four, Serpent with Feet Interlude. Ooh, hey. If 
first of all, that was a beautiful 56 second piece. I'm gonna just say that. That was fire. Track number five is Spicy featuring Post Malone. <laughs> This sounds a lot like the typical Tiger YG type of song. Um, I feel like Tiger did this already like three times. Yeah, nah. Track number six is called Track Six, featuring Kanye West, Anderson Pack, or Pac. I don't know. And Thundercat. Kanye came out and was like, I'm only doing gospel music from here on out. I know he says a lot of things and don't back it up, but that's just, a, it always comes to mind when I hear a new song. I'm like, oh, they about to do a gospel track. And then you hear it and they talk about like a female or talk about anything else. I, not that he shouldn't do these songs. I don't think it makes him wrong if he if he does gospel music and still like raps like about other stuff too outside of God. As long as like you're not going against God's word and your lyrics or like you know like promoting the wrong things in your music. Like you can't do a gospel song to come out and be like, um, "It's some hoes in this house. It's some hoes in this house." Like that 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 ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna sound crazy. To get to the point already. Been trying to get to the club already. When I'm about three in the morning, I should be more kind to my liver. I could barely hear with three side pieces. This us. Oh, that's my favorite song so far. That one took the cake. Um, Kanye didn't even have a verse, so he got away scotch free on this one. We can't judge his lyrics. <laughs> uh, he only had a hook, cool hook, and it's a pack killed his verse i like the beat switch up thundercat brought it to life though ty did his thing too but thundercat brought it to life not only f i know he he probably did the production so that beat switch up was probably his idea because he do that stuff for like kendrick and stuff like that like when they do them old soulful 80s soulful beats or something to switch it up that's where thundercat come in but like i like the um you know that the sound that they they do what is the name of that it's the, when they put the tube in their mouth and it sound like, 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 like Roger Troutman. Or like, I could not think of the name of that, uh, that, that some, what's the name of that piece they use? That, that real whiny auto-tune voice. I love that. That brings it to life. So I think that song is fire. That, that's, that's hard. Track number seven, Freak. Featuring Quavo, by the way. Um, that is like the most obvious song ever. Like I knew it was gonna sound like that. I was just hoping they was gonna surprise me. I don't like that. When I know what it's gonna sound like before it sound like it. Oh my goodness. Track number eight, Double R, featuring the Gold Lil Dirt. <laughs> This song kind of remind me of rich sex. It's the melodic. You talking about having sex on some rich nigga type level? Like, I don't know. It just remind me of that. The song is alright. It, it's nothing crazy. It's like I said earlier. It's, it reminds me of the future doing rich sex for some reason. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but it's probably the same topic choice for real, for real, but it's, it's all right. I like Dirk's verse, you know? I knew I was gonna like his verse at least. Track number nine, Expensive, featuring Nicki Minaj. I can hear this. I hear it. I already know what it's gonna be. She's so expensive, nope. okay. She's so expensive, okay. So I another one's um, Tiger would do. Give it to Tiger, he'll do the same thing on it. Yo, it's spicy. Got a little bit of icy. Drink a little bit of iced tea with my wifey. I, got, I can hear it. It'll be something still. It'll be called iced tea or something. And y'all gonna go, oh, this is it. This is it. 
Oh my god. It's a typical song. It's a generic song. I, it's it's blowing me because he said um Kanye told him you too good. Your voice is too important to be doing these generic tracks and here he is doing every generic track in the book that he's probably been doing since 2012 11 10 maybe i don't even want to hear some of these no more but it's all good i think the second half of this album is going to be where i want to be at trying to pretend burn a boy interlude <laughs> These interludes is killing the album, by the way. The interludes is keeping me wanting to hear what's next because I don't be pressed about the songs that I've been hearing so far. I'm not really impressed by them. But the interludes been the best ones to me. Serpent with Feet interlude was fire. Burner Boy interlude fire. I can't really pick another song on here that is, except that one with Anderson Pack and Kanye and Thundercat. Oh man, track number eleven. Tyrone 2021 featuring Big Sean. I'm thinking this must be like the Erica Badu. You better call on Tyrone. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Told you. Her credit fucked up. And she don't own nothing. My nigga, if I was you, I'd change my phone number. And have a bitch that's a for me like phone number. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He's talking right now. He's preaching. He's preaching. But I'm going to tell you how he's preaching later. I'm going to let him finish. I know a lot of women who's doing, you know, they ain't got no car. Credit nasty. My credit ain't the best either. But theirs is just nasty. Can't get their own nothing. Ugh. Girls like uh, that, they go to the club. Girls like that, always up in the club. And with some girls like that, probably more than I should. She said, yeah. <laughs> he said, I be with girls like that more than I should. Facts. You holding me back, not to the back. I don't even know how to react. I wish I could wipe you out. You gonna make me go Kodak Black. You had me on tap, just like an app. Turned around and stunned my growth. And I can't adapt to the habitat. I told you, I just said I like when he get into the singing bag. When I feel like he's using like old samples. And he starts hitting you with them sample flips. And, and, and dope melodic hook. He caught one. He flipped a sample right there. The old Erica Badu call on Tyrone. Come on, it's Tyrone 2021. We, we got our own version now going against the women because they were coming at us in that old song. I rock with it. That's that's a banger. Track number 12 is still free TC. He brought Jessica Jackson on board. She's a real activist making changes and laws and everything with Kim Kardashian. Track number 13, Real Life featuring Roddy, Rich, and Mustard. I knew he had one the minute he said cops still killing niggas in real life he could say anything else after that everybody gonna rock with it anyway just cause you said that I don't even know if this song is about that That could be the hit off the album to keep it real. That right there, that could be the single. You can go ahead and push that song. And I was thinking Roddy's verse is going to be the one. Like, I, he going to come on there crazy. He came in smooth, but Ty still had the show. He still, he got it. He he set, he started off too smooth. He was able to build into his flow and just float. Roddy sounded good too, but. They they sound good together. This is a, this a hit. All right, track number fourteen. Nothing like your exes. I feel like I'm gonna like this already off the title. This is what you play when you when you meet a girl for the like for the first few times y'all be linking up and stuff like after a little while and you you know when y'all y'all been vibing a couple of times now 
Y'all a little comfortable around each other, but she's still hesitant. You know what I mean? She's a little hesitant. Like, I don't know if I'm going to take him all the way serious. Just pop this on. Just to let her know I'm nothing like your ex. Even if you is just like her ex, you probably going to dog out, cheat anyway. But right now, I ain't nothing like your ex. You don't know that. You ain't supposed to know that. Tell them you ain't get the message. Say you in the hills and it ain't no reception. Mm -hmm. Funny how you got them stressing. IG post got the nigga pressure. Keep you in the CC. Keep you in the CC. Flowers on your necklace. And why Kiki? Girl, I ain't done. That's a hit. That's a hit. I don't even care. Turn number 15 is By Yourself featuring Janae Eichel and Mustard. I heard this song already, actually. I heard this. Um, he, I like it because they, they use one of my favorite old 90s songs. Um, Get Out by... What is the name of the group? Ah! Change Your Faces? The song was dope, though. It was cool. It, was, it, it sounded like one of them typical Thai songs, but the sample got me. And it made me like it. So I rock with it. Track number 16 is Universe featuring Keelani. Tie over guitars. He's one of them. When he sing, he it's like a few artists that I like when they get over the guitars, like Summer Walker, Keelani, um, uh Ty, he's in that category like when when the guitar is playing and he comes and singing over the guitar, he can't lose. That's fire. They sound good together. I heard them together before, I think. So I pretty much figured like they would they would sound good together. Uh track number 17, Lift Me Up featuring Future and Young Thug. Baby, let me up. I rock with it, but it's not the greatest song ever. But I rock with it. Chat number 18, time will tell. It's not the best song. It wasn't nothing super impressive, but I rock with it. It's a cool vibe. I like what he was saying. It's a smooth song. I'm not mad at it. Track number 19, Dr. Sebi. It won't let you go until you tell me that you stay. That was fire. Actually, Thug was floating on that a little bit. He had a nice little, I don't know if he was freestyling, but like that, that was kind of hard. I rock with that. Track number 20, Powder Blue featuring Gunna. It, didn't, it wasn't one of them standouts like get me hype go crazy tracks but like it, it they sound good together they flow together um gonna that's a gonna type of beat right there like he would be on that with the melodic weird sounds in the background and it, yeah it makes sense that it's a cool track track number 21 everywhere hit it from the back i had to bless you cut it off in the kitchen I know oh right before you come into I just want to say, I know that I'm going to love this. I know it already. When the beat drops, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. Gotta fuck everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, baby. I don't want to say this dude's name usually, even though he is arguably the greatest R&B singer of all time. Keep it real. But R. Kelly, it gave me R. Kelly vibes. Like, something he would say. It was something he would write and come up with. Trey Songz, who is probably, he has to be influenced by R. Kelly. I could tell by a lot of his singing styles and, like, the way he, he would do something like this. Trey would kill this song, too. Like, all right. Sound alive. Ooh, 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 like 
That's beautiful. That's a that's a banger. That's a banger. That's going on the playlist right then and there. It's my late night vibe. I'm rocking with that. Trend number 22, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Tell me that it's hard. Right, yeah. I'm gonna handle mine. <laughs> That's banger. Trend number 23. Your turn. Featuring. What? Come on, boy. Music Soul Child. I ain't hear him in a minute. Tish Hyman. That name sounds familiar. And Black. It's just your turn, baby. It's just your turn, baby. Perfect. I'm going to just say that. That song is perfect. Flawless record. Music Soul Child sounds amazing. I haven't heard him since. Last time I heard him, it was this old video clip of him trying to sing his, uh, probably his most popular song, uh, Love. He was trying to sing it on stage, and he was trying to hit that high note at the end, and it was ridiculous. He was off tune. He was way louder than the mic could even handle. The crowd was getting up and leaving and booing while he was singing. It sounded ridiculous, but he sounded good on this. I guess they did some edits and made, made sure he was right. Track number 24 is Return. A little skit. Let's see what they say. Track number 25 is Ego Death. Featuring Kanye West, FKA Twigs, and Skrillex. I did a reaction to this already. If you want to see how I felt about that song, you can... Maybe it'll pop up here or go look for the video. It ain't that far back. Now we at the end of the album. Time to give a review based off of a first listen. Um, Off a of first listen, I'm going to keep it real. I'm 50-50 with this. I think the album is 50-50, literally. I think the first half of the album... uh first half of the album i didn't like it that much um it wasn't much there for me i think that was the the beginning of the album was him starting off with the hardcore rap songs the more turn up party type of joints the ones he make for the clubs and he liked to have them summer anthems all of that that's cool now by the time you get to track 10 when you get the burner boys interlude i love that interlude there but by the way the interludes the interludes was flawless throughout this whole project. Um, after that, I feel like he got in his bag. He was like, okay, I know what y'all want. I'm gonna give you the R&B bag now. He went to Tyrone 2020, 2021 <laughs> with Big Sean, killed it. Uh, everything after this is pretty much pretty much good to me. But the album, I think it's 50-50. I think 50% of the songs I like, 50% of the songs I, I don't like. Um, I think the first half of the album was eh, boring. Second half. I got what I wanted. I think it depends on what type of fan you are. What type of tie down sign do you like? I like R&B tie. You like rap tie. Cool. You might like the first half better. I like the second half better. You get what I'm saying? So it's up to the, the listener. Um, I think I, I pretty much got what I expected. I didn't get a classic album. I didn't get a 10 out of 10 album. Not even a 9 out of 10 album. It's just I got a bunch of songs. And I knew that would happen because he got 25 songs. You get what I'm saying? That's a lot. You don't like you could mess up a lot in 25 songs if i had to rate it off a of first listen and doing my calculations i would give it a 6.4 out of 10. um right now it's a 6.4 tomorrow i'll listen to it again that might go up to a seven it might go up to an eight by the end of the year depending on what songs hit me and grow on me and stuff like that but that's my rating off of first listen so y'all comment below let me know what y'all thought about the project did you like it did you not like it do you agree with my rating you think it should be higher or lower let me know in the comment section below let me know anything else y'all want me to react to this weekend i'm gonna try to cover that for y'all and uh it's your boy new air i'm out Peace.